Hi, New Life. Uh, my name is David Babasana. Je m'appelle David Babasana. I've been in Kansas City for one and a half years, and I've been attending New Life since uh, last summer. So I'm here to uh, tell you about my story. So I was born in uh, Congo, Africa, uh, and then I was raised in Paris, France, Europe, and after some time, uh, sometimes I immigrated to, to Montreal, uh, Canada. And from Montreal, I came here. So uh, it's usually a little bit awkward because people used to ask me, where's home? So for me, home is Congo, home is France, home is, 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 is Canada as well. So my mom, she, she was a believer. So she used to take us to the church on Sundays. So when I was little, I used to go to sun Sunday school, but I didn't like it, so I had to. Once you're done with Sunday school, then you go and you, you get baptized. And so I was curious. I said, okay, I'm not interested in getting baptized, but I see that there is some, uh, like a class where they're preparing people to be baptized. I said, okay, I'm just curious. I just want to go. I was like 13 years old. And then we started to study the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, many, many things. And at some point I started to see the real me. So like, it was like I was looking myself into a mirror. So, and then I said, okay, I'm not that perfect because I used to lie. Everything was about myself. Also realized that, and back then I was also having a lack of uh, confidence. At some point I said, okay, I, I want to be baptized. Not because my mom or anybody wants me to, but I want to follow Jesus. And I said, okay, uh, 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 God, uh, let's do something. If whatever he said is true, or whatever we read in the Bible is true, I want this to be real in my life. Every day, I want a reason to say that you're alive. I got baptized and then I got into a lot of trouble. Uh, hardships, there was a civil war and I found myself in a battlefield. So I was going to friends to play uh, video games and then the thing is that that was the battlefield like where the, the war started. People were just uh, shooting, mass shooting people on the street. And I was there, I mean, around me, people was just falling down like, like flies. And I didn't get uh, any wound, didn't get hurt. And afterwards, looking back, I was, I just, I was thinking about Psalm 91. And I was like, okay, this is what God does. For, this is what he did for me because around me, for some reason, People was, were dying and I didn't get hurt. That's what I asked for. I wanted the Bible to be true. And then we moved to another city uh, during that war. Sometimes I was star starving, but pray, just praying because I was so uh, hungry. And all of a sudden, just walking around the neighborhood, I came across my cousin who used to work in the city. I, I didn't have to, uh, actually, it was a very uncommon event. And then he gave me something to get, to get food. I mean, all the time there was a situation. I was like, uh, that God is real. Because he, he knows our needs because before you even start to talk or even ask. And even when we, we feel like he's uh, late, he, 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 he's, he's still aware of the situation. He's not the last person aware of the situation.